Yeah, I got a precept that back right, go ahead. Just said, John 4, 34. Go ahead. It says, yeah, I wish I said unto them, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Woo! Not just do a couple of years and retire. You can't retire from this thing. You got to do this thing until, uh, to the bit, bitter end, man. Hey, when, when John received them, them uh, prophecies, he was in prison on the Isle of Patmos, which is a salt mine, you know? And um, he was up in age. He had to be, if he wasn't 100, he was close to 100. Right. That's pretty much All right. This video is entitled No Days Off. Now, basically, in this video, I'm going to cover uh, the topic of retirement. Okay. Now, the reason I'm going into this uh, topic is because, you know, this was actually brought out by the elders and the apostles earlier on their live stream. And I just want to add on to what they were saying regarding retirement within this ministry or this work that we're involved in. Okay. That being the work of Yahweh Bashem al Shai, us being the prophets. Some of us being teachers, so on and so forth. It's all part of the business of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. Okay, and the fact of the matter is, is that there is no such thing as retirement in this thing. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, I'll not take a quote from what Apostle Taha said on that live stream. He said, Prophets don't retire, you know, and it's as simple as that. So I just want to bring out some edification on that. And Lord willing, you know, brothers is edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. Now the first scripture I want to go into is in the book of Luke chapter 19 and I'm going to read from verse 11 down to 13. Now when you read this particular chapter uh, it goes into how you know how Shai met with the brother um, Zacchaeus okay and received him and, and basically blessed him even though he was a sinner all right and you know there was there was certain people gathered around while Yahweh Shai was with Zacchaeus and they were basically murmuring at the time and Yahweh Shai uh, uh, spoke a parable that I want to go into that relates to uh, this matter of retirement and I'm going to break it down Lord willing through the spirit so this is Luke chapter 19 verse 11 it says and as they heard these things he added and spake a parable because he was nigh to Jerusalem and because they thought that the kingdom of the Most High should immediately appear. He said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. Now, let me stop here. This certain nobleman is talking about Yahweh Shai himself, all right? Reading on, it says, and he called his 10 servants and delivered them 10 pounds and said unto them, occupy till i come now the ten servants is referring to us brothers that's in this truth all right the truth of yahweh bashmi al shai we're the servants okay and it says and delivered them ten pounds yeah so now the ten pounds is referring to uh money okay spiritual money now the spiritual money is talking about the wisdom knowledge and understanding of these scriptures okay yahweh shai is giving us this money and we got we got, um, you know, double up on it, so to speak. So let me read it again. And, he's, and, he called to his, and he called his 10 servants and delivered them 10 pounds, which is this knowledge, and said unto them, occupy till I come. Now let's relate this to uh, someone like Elder Apostle Taha or Elder Apostle Gabar, so, so on and so forth. Any of the elders or any of the, uh, the apostles, or even any of us brothers, man, right? That's, you know, just coming into this thing and whatnot. Yahweh Shai said, occupy till I come. He didn't say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna pay you and then I'm gonna give you, a, a, I'm gonna allow you to retire. I'm gonna give you a four, 401k plan. He doesn't say that. It says, occupy till I come. So that's a commandment, okay? We've been given a commandment to come out on these highways and byways, which is these streets and teach. We've been, we've been given a commandment to basically do this job, do this work until, man. 
until when? Until Yahweh Shai makes a move, man. That's that's actually the commandment. So that's why someone like Elder Apostle Tahar, who is, you know, some might say up in age, that's why he's out there on the highways and byways giving diligence, man. Occupying until until the Savior comes, man, until Yahweh Shai comes, man. Lord willing, he, he endures until the end. Lord willing, we all endure until the end, man. But the point I'm trying to make here is that that's <laughs> that's the reason why A, us here at Great Millstone, start with Elder Apostle Taha. We're not gonna we're not looking to retire, man. Okay, we're looking we're looking for that crown to be placed upon our head. And how are we gonna get that crown? By doing the work until until Yahweh Shai comes back, man. Now I mentioned the word diligence. So let's go to uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. Now this is a letter written by the Apostle Peter, right? It, this is, and this is his advice to us brothers today, man, that's living in these last days, all right? He says, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Now, the same way you was called, the same way I was called into this thing, is the same way Elder Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle, Apostle Gabar, Elder Apostle Rakar, Elder Apostle Arimlab, and the other, the other elders and apostles, okay, up, up and coming apostles, I should say, the same way we, we were called in is the same way they were called, man. So the apostle Peter said what? He said, um, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, man. Again, the apostle Peter didn't say, yeah, give diligence and then, you know, look to retire. No, he said, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. So that's what the elders are doing man even though they they might be up in age hey the reason why they're out there up in age out there on the highways and byways i should say out there on on the streets you know even uploading videos continuously is because they're given diligence man to make what to make their calling and election sure man which is um is which is the example that um us brothers should go by man okay we're supposed to be given diligence in these last days man since that we've got this truth so the next scripture I want to go to is the book of Philippians and I'm going to start in the 21st verse. Actually, you know what? Let me just start at the top and then skip down to the 21st verse. Now this was a letter written by the Apostle Paul to the Israelites that were uh, being called Philippians, okay? This was uh, his letter to the Israelites living in, in Philippi, I should, I should say. So this is Philippians 1 and 1, it says, Paul and Timotheus the servants of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach to all the saints in Yahweh Shai which are at Philippi with the bishops and deacons. Now let me skip down to uh, the 21st verse. It says, According to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed but that with all boldness as always so now also Yahweh Shai shall be magnified in my body whether it be by life or by death. Verse 21, for me to live is Yahweh Shai, and to die is gain. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet what I shall choose, I wot not. Verse 23, now here's the point. For I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart, and to be with Yahweh Shai, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. Now, why am I bringing this scripture out? Is because you see the scripture here, man. <laughs> this applies to someone like Elder Apostle Tahar, man. Okay, this we're talking about a man that's been in this truth since 1985 up until right now. You're trying to tell me that a man like that that's been in this in this truth that's endured all this hell, okay? Endured the wickedness of Jake, endured the wickedness of Esau, which is the so-called white man. They're trying to tell me that he doesn't want to depart from this place or he wouldn't like to retire. <laughs> Even though, you know, hey, the spirit's on, um, you know, Apostle Taha, he would never, well, through the spirit, I, I can say this, he wouldn't retire, but you're trying to tell me that he doesn't want to depart from this place. Come on, man. But what did um, Paul say? Let's read it again. It says, for I am in a strait betwixt two. When it says strait, it means he's in a place of difficulty, man. Having a desire to depart, talking about 
departing and being in the, in the spirit world, okay? It says, and to be with Yahweh Shai, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. And that's the same spirit the elders and the apostles come in, man. Down to us young brothers, man. It's more needful for us to be here and do the work. Why? Because we got a, we got a work to do, man. We got to uh, try our best to um, deliver this message onto the, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, man. Which is one third of these so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans. So it's more needful for us to be here, man. Even though that we don't want to be here. All right, it's more needful for us to be here. It's more needful that Yahweh Bashman al Shai has got his men out here to seal his elect, man. That's the reason why we're out here doing this work. And that's why we're not going to retire, man. Lord willing, no, we don't faint. So all praises and glory to Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.